A few weeks ago, I made a video where I showed all the plugins that I use in my Minecraft SMP server. And since then, I've been getting many comments asking, Kasasura, how did you do the player shops? How do you make them? How do you create them? Which plugins do you exactly use for them? So I decided to make a tutorial on how to make player shops. But then, I found out. One of the plugins I actually used to make the player shops is no longer getting updated. And since the most recent version of World Edit, it is not longer supported. I'm talking about Area Shop, the plugin I actually use to sell the regions. Now I've got another plugin that does exactly the same, but it works a little bit different. So for this tutorial, except for using Area Shop, I'll use Advanced Region Market. Anyways, relax, sit back, because today I'm going to show you how to make player shops on your Minecraft survival server. Anyway, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video and also check if you're subscribed to the channel. My analytics show me that a very big part of my viewers is actually not. And that breaks my heart. It breaks my heart in pieces. Subscribing only takes a second. You would really help me out. And you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So before we actually start creating player shops, just a few things. First of all, there's a total of six plugins you will need to actually do this, which are World Edit, World Guard, Advanced Marketplace, Essentials, Vault, and Chest Shop. All the download links of these plugins will be in the description of this video. Make sure to download the latest version of them. And to give you a little bit more insight on what we're going to use what plugin for, World Guard will be the plugin where we will create the regions with. World Edit is there so World Guard actually works. Then we will have Essentials for the economy because without money there's nothing to buy then we will have advanced marketplace to actually sell the regions we have created with world guard and after that we have chest shop to actually create shops inside of those regions and last but not least vault Vault is there just to hook everything together. So for example, you will need Vault to link essentials and advanced marketplace together. Now with all that being said, one more thing. This is by all means probably not the best way to make a player shop. But it is the way that I chose to do it because of a few circumstances. There are a few things that were really important for me and that is why I chose to use these plugins and do it this way. So the first thing that was really important is that I wanted my player shops to be inside of another region. So I had a spawn region which is just a big protected region and inside of that region I wanted to have a shop. Now of course I didn't want people to break anything in the spawn but I wanted them to build inside of the shop. And the second and probably most important thing for me was that I actually wanted to make it so that people could only create shops inside of a region they bought from the server. So in the spawn there would be regions, they would buy those regions and only after that inside of those regions they could actually create a shop. So I basically wanted to disable shop creation everywhere in the world except for those specific regions. Now with all that in mind and all that being said, let's create some player shops. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually create a region. And I'm actually going to create two regions. One region will be a shop region and the other region will be a spawn region. That way I can show you that people will be unable to break anything in the spawn region, but they will be able to break blocks inside of the shop region they purchased. So to start it off, we will do slash slash once, there we go, which is a world edit comment by the way and then we're just going to mark this region let's do set stone there we go and then we're going a few blocks in the air and i am going to make this the shop region so to do that we will just select both corners one with the left mouse button one with the right mouse button and then we will do region or rg define and let's call it shop just shop there we go. A new region has now been named shop. Now I also want a spawn region. So let's just stand over here far outside of the shop. And then also on the other side. And I actually want everything from all the way up to the maximum build height to all the way down to the bedrock to be protected. So to do that we will do slash slash expand vert expand vert there we go now everything inside of the region i just marked from top to bottom has been selected and now we will do region define and let's call it spawn there we go a new region has been made named spawn now that we've done that we actually need to prioritize a region because right now both regions are equally important and that is a problem because as soon as people buy this area here, they won't be able to break any blocks because it is still protected by the spawn area. So we actually need to prioritize the shop region above the spawn region. To do that, you can actually just type region info and then the name of the region. So let's do info spawn 
And over here, you can see tons of information. One piece of that information is the priority. The priority of the spawn region is zero. So let's now do region, info, and then shop. And you will see that the priority of the shop region is also zero. So to make this work, we only have to make the priority of the shop region higher. So just click here and it will automatically put in the command, which is really, really handy. And let's just put the priority to something like one. There we go. As long as it is higher, it is good. So if people buy the shop, they can add the blocks in there while they can't outside of it. Now that that is done, we actually need to make this plot over here sellable. People need to be able to buy it. And we can actually do that in two ways with advanced region market. First of all, we can do it through commands. And second of all, what I would recommend is through signs. Let's just grab a sign and let's place it in front of the region. And then we're just going to type a bracket, arm cell, and another bracket. After that, you will have to type the world name. So in this case, my world is just called world. It is called world by default, so just type world. After that, the name of the region. So in this case, the region that I created is called shop. So I'm just going to call it shop here. And now the price. Now there's also a way to set presets. In that case, you don't have to type a specific amount of money but you can just type something like preset one and that will also work in my case i haven't set any presets so i'm just going to type 50 and then done and there we go for sale shop for 50 dollars and here on the bottom you will see exactly how big the region is so it is five blocks tall 11 blocks wide and eight blocks in the other direction there we go and if somebody now has 50 dollars they can just click on the sign and they will be able to do anything in here they want and that includes making shops with chest shop. Now we are already pretty far. We have a spawn region. We have a shop region in here. And the shop region is actually buyable. People can also just create shops in here. Because right now people can create shops everywhere in the world. For the shops I'm using a plugin called chest shop. And basically what that does is you just have a chest. You put something in there you want to sell. And then you put a sign on there. And on the sign you tell what you sell and for how much. I will show you how to create a chest shop in a second. But right now they can do it everywhere in the world. And that is a problem. Because they may not. So to change that we're going to type region flags. And if you do that you will get this gigantic list of flags. So these are just basically things you can turn on and off in your region. Right now, you can see the spawn region is selected. Flex for spawn. And everything here is allowed. But as you come closer to the end, you will see third party flex. Allow shop. This is actually part of the chest shop plugin. And right now, it is perfectly fine to create shops wherever you want. But I don't want that. So I'm going to change the allow shops to deny people can no longer make shops inside of the spawn area and now we're going in here and do region flex and if we do that it will actually say like yeah uh, there are multiple regions where you are so choose one now i'm going to choose for the shop region there we go flex for shop and then we're going all the way to the end again and we're going to allow shops here and because the priority of the shop region is actually higher we will be able to make chest shops in here and we won't out here now we've only set the spawn area and the shop areas but outside of spawn people are still able to make chest shops now to change that we will need to change the global region so if we send outside of any region so not inside of the shop region not inside of the spawn region but just over here and then type rg flags we will actually see the flags for global and also here in global so this is everywhere where there is actually no region just the global region we're also going to change the third party flags allow shop to deny now people are not able to build any chest shops anywhere in the world Except for there. And they need to buy this place to build something on it. So that's the good thing for us. <laughs> so now I'm going to log in with my other Minecraft account and show you how it works. Alright, so I just gave myself $50. Which means if I type money, I will have $50. I am on my second Minecraft account, Brad Shop. So let's see how this works. Right now, I am completely unable to break any blocks in the spawn region. Because I've said it. 
if I go all the way over here, then I will be able to break blocks because it is outside of the spawn. Pretty straightforward, basically. And now we have this region over here, and I'm also completely unable to break any blocks inside of this region. So this is the shop region overlapping the spawn region. Now we have this sign over here. For sale, shop. Oh my god, I want that. I want the shop. Okay, let's buy it. There we go. Region successfully bought. Sold shop to bread shop. Hey, <laughs> that's me. And now I will be able to break blocks here. Okay, this not because that's not the region. But I can break this. I can build all the way to here. Yeah, that's the max. There we go. I will be able to create my own shop here. And do whatever I want. Now, inside of this region, I'm also allowed to make chest shops. So let's get myself a chest. Let's get myself a sign. Let's place the chest. Let's place a sign on it. So you're gonna start off by typing your own name. Which in my case is a bread a shop. After that, you're going to type the amount you want to sell. I want to sell five. Then you're gonna type what kind of shop it is going to be. So you can have two kinds of shops. You can sell stuff to people or you can let people sell stuff to you. So either you get money or you lose money and you get items. Now it is a little bit complicated, but it works from the perspective of the buyer. So if I'm a customer and I want to buy five diamonds, because that's what I'm going to make a shop for, that means I, the customer, wants to buy five diamonds. So that means that this needs to be a buy shop. Then we're going to type space and the amount we want to sell it for. So... Uh, five diamonds, we want to sell five diamonds for, uh, let's say, uh, $10. And then on the last line, we want to tell the shop what we actually want to sell. So in this case, I want to sell my diamonds. So just type diamonds, click on done, and there we go. Shop successfully created. Now I can put diamonds in there, like this. And that's that. If another player comes on the server, comes in here in this region, they will see my shop. They can click on the sign and they will buy the product. Now I can buy from my own shop of course, but that is how that works. Now there's one more thing, one last thing that I've completely forgot about, but it is the last thing we have to do to actually make this work. Right now, if I would go all the way out here, outside of the spawn region, outside of the shop region, all the way out here, and I would put down a shop. And I would call it Bread Shop's Shop. And I want to sell one. I want to sell it for one. And it has to be a diamond. Then I'm still able to create it. But Kazasura, how can you be able to create a shop outside here? Because we did region flags and we disabled shop making out here. That is true. We did indeed. But we didn't activate the flag in the config. So you will actually need to go into your chest shop config file. And all the way down at the bottom... You can see over here, World Guard use flag. Do you want to only let people build inside regions flagged by doing slash region, region name, flag, allow, shop, allow. This is exactly what we did by typing RG flag and clicking on allow. That is basically just entering this command. So we want to change this to true. There we go. And then save it. And after that, people won't be allowed to make any shops outside of their shop region anymore. Easy as that. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet, and you are enjoying the content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. If something is not working out for you or you have any other questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. And then, that is all for now. And Brad Shop, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>